financial advisors, don't be afraid of marketing. We're gonna share some tips and ideas to overcome that fear. Hello, this is Michael Loftus for Loftus Coaching Consulting and Marketing, helping both advisors and wholesalers stand out from the masses. So today, we're gonna to talk about marketing. Bringing an idea and a vantage point of being on the distribution side and the retail side. But the reality is they're the same. When I was on that side, I called on the big firms. When I was in the senior level, I would call on the uh, individual advisors. When I was a wholesaler, and over here, I've got obviously a lot of advisor friends. So what do we have? We have fear of compliance, a lot of complacency, and then cost of marketing. This is really what holds a lot of advisors back. So take you through my evolution. I started out like a lot of people. Chamber and b &I, just a waste. A bunch of people in a room, back slapping, no business gets done. That's just my opinion. Ads in the paper, yeah, it worked for us in a small town in the beginning, not so much anymore. Seminars, we all know about that. Plate, liquors, that's all I need to say. Then we graduated to big marketing companies, used a company down in Tampa, great work. Good stuff, a little bit edgy, different, really had a good feel. But what happens? Little companies become big companies and they become commoditized. So I'm in a small town in the Delaware beaches and three people in my area were putting out the same material. Doesn't help me at all. So what next? Four years ago, we decided to bring it inside. Web design, social media, marketing, presentations, branding, and videos. Most importantly, at that time, we created a calendar and we stuck to it. Consistency makes the difference. It's about being consistent over time. It is not one of those things I mentioned. It's a combination of all that will build your brand over time. Because today, we know that 40% of our new business is through our social media efforts. So real quick, let's go through a couple highlights. Websites, what did I not like about the past? Too difficult to make changes. Every time I call, we're gonna put that in production. Production means two things, cost, time, which was a waste. So we decided that we wanna go in-house, but can we do it? And at that time, we, and still use Wix.com, but there's GoDaddy. There's a lot of choices out there. I do not get paid to say that, but we broke it down to a couple pages, Michelle and I, our marketing person, and said, let's try and do it ourselves. And guess what? We did, it was easy, it was simple, at a tenth of the cost, keeping it inside. Next up, social media, as I said, big part of our business now. You gotta be out there. You have to be advertising this way. This is where our clients are. I'm also on Facebook and the Twitter. This is where you need to be. And yes, you can do it in a compliant, friendly way. We figured out how to do ads on Facebook, presented it to our broker dealer, and now we run ads all the time that are compliant, friendly with all of our disclosures. Marketing presentations, here's a sample of just a couple. So we did a social media training event for our older clients. How to connect with your grandkids. My two teenagers came in and helped teach that class, went around, loved it, sold it out. Midsummer event, just a couple of weeks ago. Hot summer, mid-July at the beach, sold out. Great topics. And our ladies night, different outside of the box. Next, branding, again, all our brand is inside. We just relaunched our wealth and wisdom. Here's a look, okay? Then videos, you have to do videos. What a great way to connect and educate your clients. And that's where we started. It was about educating our clients, staying in front of them. And what we've heard is, we love the fact that you send this out because it tells us a couple things. One, we always know what you're thinking. Two, it shows us that you're looking at the markets and keeping on top of it, and that gives them peace of mind. So in that case, what has happened to us? Our phones don't ring like they used to, good and bad, so we're very proactive, but they always know what I'm thinking. This is not an overnight thing. Yeah, we've grown, we just hit 875,000 views, X amount of subscribers, but 
We started with our clients and then it grew from there. Just figure out what you want to do and we can help you. I created a class. It's called the Advisor School at Teachable.com. I've got a link below and you can learn how to do it yourself in-house. So the big question is, because everyone's afraid, where do you start? Hire a big firm. Sure. Costs a lot of money. Are they going to know our business? Eh, I don't know that. I really don't believe that. Two, hire one of the firms I mentioned. The problem is the firm in Tampa just got bought out by the other big firm. So you now you have a really, really big firm and it's truly going to be commoditized. Everyone has the same looking website, marketing materials, etc. Hire someone like us. This is what we do. We have several advisory firms that we do all their marketing, social media, etc. But we're only going to work with 100 firms, so it's specialized. It's content for them, and that makes a difference. Go in-house? Sure, that's what we did. Not easy. you got to figure out, have a plan. You can afford this. Hire somebody. There's a lot of part-timers out there. Stay-at-home moms. This is where we started. Michelle was operations, but really her unique ability was marketing. So now she does all of her marketing, and she's great at it. So you might have somebody on your staff that you don't even know about at this point. What have we learned today? Marketing, don't be afraid, embrace it. If we can help you, sure, links below, give us a call, we'd love to help you, but one way or another, you gotta get on the marketing train or you will be left behind in this new digital age. Thanks for watching, Michael Loftus, Loftus Coaching, Consulting and Marketing.